Hello my YouTube friend, this is Now Mechanic here and today I'm working on a 2003 Nissan Sentra and what we're going to be doing today is diagnosing a PO302 cylinder 2 misfire and what you're going to need for this job is you're going to need a spot plug tester you're going to need also a coil tester, we're going to test the coil to see if they're working. We're going to need some neon lights and the reason why I'm, I'm going to be using the neon lights because I want to know if the fuel injector is getting power and we may also need a spot plug socket. So let's get down with this job and diagnose this PO302 on this Nissan Sentra. I needed to move the car because I don't think they're going to be able to see the lights when they turn on. So we have cylinder one, two, three, and four. Cylinder two is the one that's giving us the misfire. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to test our coils first to see if they're working. And we're going to be removing this 10 millimeter bolt that's here. Going to be using a 10 millimeter socket. It goes right there. Now all we have to do is just pick it up and once I pick it up what I like to do is inspect it to see if you got any burns or any cracks and this coil looks pretty good. Now we're going to use our coil tester and you see it's like a spark plug and you have this little clamp here that you connect into metal and all we're going to do is just take it, connect it right in our coil. And then what we're going to do, we're going to open this up and put it in the metal. So let's just put it right here for you can see when it sparks. Still a little bright out here. So we're going to see how bright it goes. Hopefully you can see that. I have my daughter roll, she's gonna turn on the car and we should see some sparks through there. Go mama! Thank you baby! Thank you! Great job! As you saw, the sparks are, are, are coming on. My daughter Rose did a good job. So now, as you saw, the sparks was coming on, so this is telling us that our coil is good. The next thing we're going to do is check our spark plug. And all we're going to do is just disconnect this again. Right? And we're going to use our spark plug tester here. And it has a metal piece in there, and this metal piece is going to go right in the spark plug. So we're going to do just... Make sure we push it in. Okay. So now what we're going to do is connect our coil with this. And when my daughter Rose turn on the ignition, this light must come up. It's going to come on. Okay, baby. Rose and Rebecca did a good job, so make sure you give them a thumbs up for that. So now I will call you is good and our spark plug is good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove one of the spark plugs just to see if there's any oil in there. Because I am looking through here and I see some type of oil, not much, but there can be oil in the spark plug. So let's just remove this. And now let's remove this spark plug just to see what we have in there. And I'm using a 5.8 uh, spark plug socket with a long extension of 3 8 drive. Rats, excuse me. And we're going to remove the spark plug. Okay, I'm happy with it. Oh. Let me 
Okay. So it looks like we have all you in there. Look at that. It is wet. Not much. But this also can cause a misfire. And it does look a little dirty in there. You know what? Let's remove another one just to see if we have oil. Let's just try number one just to see if we have any oil in there. I'll put this one back. Oh, I didn't like the sound. Oh, let me remove this. And look at our call you. I will call you has all you. So that has all you. I wonder how a spot plug is doing. Let's remove this. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna show you that. There is all you. Look like we need uh, some seals on this valve cover. Let's see. Oh yeah, so we have oil. We do have oil. It doesn't look like it has cooling. It just looks like it's oil. Let me get a rag. Yep. It is oil. It doesn't look like cooling in it. So that's good. So I found a misfire. Our misfire is that we have oil inside um, our spark plug and that's the reason why it's causing a misfire we need a new valve cover but what I'm gonna do also I'm gonna, let me just show you in here with a flashlight how this thing is soaked with oil in there so here it goes it got oil all around the ring and a little bit inside so we have a valve cover leak and I believe this is what causing the misfire. But I'm not going to only stop there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put everything back. And I'm also going to test the fuel injector wire harness to see if it's getting power. Okay, so what we're going to do is now, we're going to disconnect the wire harness from the second fuel injector. Number one is here. And number two is right here so number one is here and number two is there so all we're gonna do is just take it and press it and disconnect it now what we're gonna do is connect our neon light so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to check the fuel injector number two to see if it's getting any power. And I'm going to be using this neon lights. I don't remember where I got it from, but the part number is 27161. And this is cool because they have a couple of adapters. And I'm going to be using the GM one. And what we're going to do is we take the wire harness, right? And all we do, the neon has two little metal pieces, and all you're gonna do is connect it in there and push it in. Once it's in, what you wanna do is turn on the ignition, and if the light goes on, that means that our, our fuel injector is getting power in the number two cylinder. Go ahead, Rose, go. One more time, baby. 
Thank you, baby. As you saw, it's getting um, it's getting power, so we don't have no problem with the electrical. So everything went fine. The only problem, and I believe what's causing this cylinder two misfire, is that it has oil in the spark plug. And the reason being is because the valve cover has bad seals. So once again, this is non-mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below or contact me on nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. That is nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. And remember, if non-mechanic can do it, you can do it. Later!